first, I, uh, I wanted to extend really deep thanks to Mike for uh, the opportunity to be back here at EG, uh, both as an audience member, uh, as uh, somebody who gets to bring down an art piece for the lobby, and uh, for these few minutes that I get to speak to such an astounding group of people. Oh, it's up. Uh, my passion is motion control, and uh, by that, motion control is the, um, I'm sorry? Uh, motion control is the, uh, the term which encompasses both uh, spectacular robotic examples like the shuttle, a space shuttle uh, control system and deep sea submarine robotic systems, as well as the far more common mundane world of automation, which brings us those lovely billions of shiny plastic red and white bottles of sugar water. Um, my journey began uh, with an egg. And I guess you could say that's true of all of us, but <laughs> in this case, I'm talking about this machine. Uh, 20 years ago, I left my practice uh, in internal medicine uh, to pursue this dream, and that was to take the very same technology that is used and designed and developed to remove human hands from the making of things and instead use that technology as an enticement, an inspiration to others, in particular kids, uh, to make things in new ways with their hands and their minds. And over the past 20 years, my work has cleaved into basically two branches, educational projects like Eggbot, which has uh, now become this. And I want to extend a, a great thanks to my son, Ben, who's out in the audience now, uh, for making Eggbot uh, an open source uh, online kit, which is, which is available, something I've wanted to do for many years, but he, he made possible. Um, brief uh, uh, mention, there's a wonderful example of something I, I would consider educational motion control, and that's uh, Brie Pettis' MakerBot out in the lobby. If you haven't seen that, it's a 3D printer, affordable open source, which uh, Brie uh, brought from New York to demonstrate. It's, it's wonderful, so check that out. Uh, the other branch is kinetic sculptures that uh, I, I if I'm lucky, I get to put into science museums. And I just want to quickly show a couple examples. If you were here last year, you saw Sisyphus, which is a sand table. It's very slow. Um, this is, hopefully it'll run, yes, um, is a time lapse of uh, an installation I have out in a museum called Technorama outside of Zurich. Uh, this is nine feet across this sand table. It's a couple thousand pounds. Um, last year, I brought my portable version um, so we'll move on. Uh, completely different. Um, oops. This is going to run. Um, all right, so we'll move on. OK. Well, Ribbon Dancers, oh, there it is, uh, is an installation in the uh, Science Museum in Des Moines, which is two robotic dancers flying 50 feet above visitors' head all day long. Um, move on. Pipe Dream, lastly, uh, last example, Pipe Dream is uh, a riff on basically the idea of bubble as pixel. And uh, this is what it looks like as the bubbles are created. Um, more recent version in oh, this prototype, uh, where it, it, this is in the, uh, in the uh, Ontario Science Center in Toronto, where visitors can pose in front of a, a camera and see their faces in bubbles. So lastly, <laughs> lastly, I just want to spend a couple seconds talking about Eddy, which is a brand new idea, something I was playing with. I, I bumped into Mike at the Gadget Off conference a couple months ago in New York, and he asked if I was going to bring anything, and I, I didn't know that I could bring something, so I scrambled, and I was playing with this device which I won't show any pictures of because it's out in the lobby. You may not have seen it because it's, it's sort of under and sort of hidden uh, because of the lighting. It's near the black curtains if you look for it. Uh, take a quick look. But Eddie was inspired by this book. It's a wonderful compendium of images that were shown uh, by uh, Milton Van Dyke, an engineer at Stanford, put this together. He kept seeing these images at these physics meetings, uh, fluid dynamics uh, experts would bring these lovely images. And I was so astounded by the images in this book 
uh, that it led to uh, Eddie, which, is, which uses laser light, there's a laser theme here, uh, to kind of cut through smoke rings, in this case water fog, and, and it allows you to see the anatomy of a, a smoke ring. So thanks.